Hey, good day everybody! Today we're gonna learn 20 different items from English language and we will do this with website. What's the name of it? Uh, it is uh, Fluent You. Yes, we will do this together because I understand that it will be better to upload something that upload nothing. Yes, we will read it together and we will learn it like you can join to our party if you are English learner or if you are native English speaker, maybe it will be new for you or maybe it will be kind of fun opening or maybe some of the improvised thing will be funny to you okay hit the books uh, it is first our out item we can use this item as a item or the way to speak about uh, about our study time hit the books means that punch or slap or maybe to take take your books and uh, place them inside of your muscle inside of your muscle of memory and muscle of brain and hit the books means uh, to study hit the sack i don't know what is it uh, let's learn it together just like the first item and literal meaning of this world by physically hitting or beating a sack but actually to hit a sack means to go to bed and use ah oh, Yes, it means that uh, hit the sack, you will go to sleep. I will go to sleep after maybe 20 or maybe 30 minutes. I need to record this video and Russian video and after that I will go to sleep. Okay, twist someone's arm. My my meaning, what do I think about it? It is my, like, uh, how to say it, uh, when you have your expectation. My expectation about it, it is like uh, to do some of the tricky tricky thing that uh, will be so like a uh, high advantage from you in a battle with someone it is not like a literal meaning and if you manage to twist someone else's arm it means that you are great at convincing them and they are finally agreed to do something after you've been begging them ah yes you have a good maybe uh, how to say it argument yes uh, and uh, if you will say this, you will convince someone, it will be good. Stop someone in the back. Oh, it is so... Uh, I know what is what does it mean. We have it uh, in Russian language too. It means that to make something not really nice and uh, like uh, you are... You are... You together. We are a friends. We are friends and after that... Nope. You did some not really nice thing to him. Maybe you you was cheating or something else lose your touch lose your touch i don't know what is it uh, this meaning isn't t -t -t -t, but to lose to touch actually means that you lose an ability or talent you once had when dealing with things people or situation ah we have the same thing in russian language too but uh, in uh, russian language it uh, sounds like lose your hand it is like a literal translation of our russian thing it means that uh, you knew how to maybe what to do to to prepare maybe porridge to cook porridge and after that you didn't cook it for a while for five years and you forgot how to do this sit tight hmm maybe it is uncomfortable or something like this but uh, if a person tells you uh, sit tight they want to wait patiently and take no action until you hear otherwise Ah, it, it means that sit calmly and uh, sit here and don't go uh, anything else, be here. Pitch in. Oh, I don't know what is it and what is it. So if your dad tells the family that he wants everyone to pitch in this weekend and helps clear the backyard, it means he wants everyone to join his... Ah, pitch in it means that uh, gather people around. Yes, and like uh, everybody come here and I want really to collect you to do things that I want to do. And example, maybe we can all pitch in and buy here something great. Yes, we can use $10 from everybody, from 20 people and we will have 200 and we can invest it in something like a SpaceX company. Go call Turkey. I don't know what is it. Uh, it is... Uh, Maybe something like a cockney, a cockney phrase. To go call cooking means to suddenly quit or stop addictive or dangerous behavior such as smoking or drinking alcohol. Huh, interesting, really. No, she stopped drinking, really. She just quit cold turkey? Yes, just like that. It, it means that 
that th she did it suddenly really in one day and you are a new person you can do this too by maybe taking cold shower or maybe to do affirmations and uh, quit your social media and delete all accounts from this face the music i don't know what it is uh, it is uh, but if your the parents tell you to, to face the music there's much harshest meaning it means to face reality ah face the reality look at look at this yes uh, for example i will not give you money and uh, you will face the music ring a bell ring a bell maybe it is uh, like a pay attention to this pay attention please like an iceberg here is here da, da, da. Hmm, i'm not sure but uh, that name ring uh, rings a bell was she the one who went to paris last year what means just that you could be ringing the school bell to fa the media meaning that someone had mentioned something that sounds familiar to you perhaps you've heard it before oh interesting it means that you are familiar and you are like oh jesus yes it is in other words when someone says something that you believe you've heard in the past alarm bells start ringing and you try to remember how or why that name or place sounds familiar hmm interesting at least like recognizing something blow off sim maybe it is uh, like uh, to relax after after anger what is it in real blow off them by doing something such as exercise to get rid of the stress he had a fight with his brother so he went for a run to blow off steam if you're feeling st t -t -t so anger stressed or are experiencing some strong feeling and you want to get rid of them Ah, it means that go away with uh, your steam. We have the same thing in Russia, like a relaxed person. You should do something like maybe um, a good breathing technique and you will blow off your steam. Cut to the chase. Uh, maybe it is uh, kind of short, short way to achieve something. I'm going to cut to the chase. It means that there are a few things that need to be said, but there's very little time so we'll skip to the important parts to ah oh, nice it is like a to go to the really mm, thing that matters if a teacher said to you cut to the chase and you will go really to the place that really sh you should use up in the air what is it t -t 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 if someone tells you that things are up in the air, it means that these things are uncertain and unsh unsure. Defi defined plans have not been made yet. Ah, it means that maybe it is real, maybe not. Yes? On the ball. I don't know what is it. This may be uh, balancing. Ta -ta 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 -ta. What is it? Uh, for example, if you're playing your wedding... Ah. If you are on a ball, it means uh, that you are very quick to understand certain things, very prepared for sound in or react quickly. Ah, it means that you are like a yes, I'm ready to do this. I'm like a Sherlock Holmes, and I have all like suspicious things, and I can do our deal fast. Get over something. It is maybe to finish and or maybe to to make things happen or maybe to overcome something it means that you're good in something but eventually once time passes and you no longer think about your ex it means that you've gotten over him her you're no longer worried about it and uh, no longer affects in you in a negative way oh i understood yes it means that uh, you you are not addicted to someone else if you love one person then you can get over your loved one and uh, it means that you you are free like a dobby look like a million dollar bucks i think that this is so rich so that uh, you look like a million bucks you should take a huge compliment because it means you look absolutely fabulous and yes attractive thing born with a silver spoon in one's mouth maybe it is uh, someone who comes from a wealthy and successful family ah it is uh, like uh, your your parents maybe are millionaires and you are born with a silver spoon in one ma one's mouth in your mouth 
to go from rags to riches it is uh, from we have the same thing in russia it is uh, like from door to to to, to king to knights it is nice pay an arm and a leg for something what is it to pay a lot of money for something you can also say that something cost an arm and a leg ah it is uh, like if you have a debt for your scholarship uh, or you paid this debt someone paid to you this debt for college it means that he paid an arm and a leg for your college education to have sticky fingers to be a thief hmm. to give a run for one's money to complete with someone at their level and make them really work for their win da -da -da. ah it means that you have a nice like a maybe feeling about money and you achieved something you took someone else's money and uh, you achieved things that he didn't expect for Thanks so much for watching this video, it was interesting to read about these things, uh, I learned a little bit from it, uh, yes, like a born with a silver spoon or maybe blow off steam or maybe get over something, it is uh, nice to... And nice to learn them. Yes, if you are, if you found it uh, interesting, please let me know and uh, like, subscribe, and have a nice day. It was uh, George Chief's English episode two. We'll go further and faster. See you next time. We have four thousand, uh, four thousand different, uh, different videos about it, and I want to achieve it in a short period of time as fast as possible. And I hope that it will be soon. See you next time.